The floodlights are shining down on the players here at the home of Manchester City. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League semi-final first leg action coming right up for you. It is Manchester City facing Real Madrid. Well Derek, they don't come much bigger than this do they? This will be a top quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Luka Modric plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Fully cut out. Rodri. Walker now. Sterling has it. De Bruyne. Teammates in the middle. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And to be fair, he doesn't catch it cleanly. Not sure he'd care, though. He's just got enough on it to beat the keeper. And that's all that matters. And there's the delivery. It might still be problematic. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball. Foden. And the advantage is with City. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him.
Well, here we go again. Just look at the way the ball starts to dip so sharply through its flight. That's the result of the perfect contact as it was struck. So difficult for a goalkeeper to deal with. Credit to them for winning back possession. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. And so the half-time whistle is sounded here in Manchester. Well, many will regard him as the complete midfield player, Kevin De Bruyne. And how do you shackle him? It's well nigh impossible, Stuart. Well, what a display from him. Lots of touches, some great passes and an assist. He's been absolutely brilliant today. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Silva. Here's Grealish. Won it back. Benzema. A really sumptuous ball. And oh! We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Chance to do damage, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. And that pass could be troublesome. Keeper getting the touch. Not a time for composure on the ball. Not what he was intending, bad pass. Here's Kroos. And what a magical save it was! Delivering it. Oh, a goal! And an own goal at that! Well, not part of the script, was it? Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. A change on the offing for City. He could pick out a teammate. Benzema! And he's done well to tip it over the bar. A well-taken Real Madrid corner could be so important at this stage. De Bruyne. Mares. And it's positive from Manchester City. Is it in the cards for them to score a late winner? Well, three minutes of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. That was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Defensive efficiency personified. 
Wonderfully weighted pass. And there's the final whistle, a thoroughly entertaining semi-final first leg. And I must say, Stuart, it bodes well for the return match. Yeah, fantastic first 90 minutes, wasn't it? Exactly what you want to see at this stage of the competition. Let's just hope they can replicate that in the reverse fixture. Kevin De Bruyne, incisive and influential. How would you sum up what you saw from the Belgian? Well, it was a decent performance. He scored a very good goal and had some good moments in the game. I think he'd be fairly happy with how he played today.